Okay, so it's been around a week now since Etsy started this combined ads thing. And I know some of you are dying for some data. And if you don't know what I'm talking about, I have a whole playlist of videos explaining what Etsy did last week. So you really want to check that out. Now, before we start, I just want to say this is only a week's worth of data. So at the minute in time, it's not really statistically significant. It's just enough to give us an idea because I know we want to know how this is working. But in a week, all sorts of things can have caused results to be higher or lower. Labour Day, back to school, hurricane, Father's Day, all these things have happened somewhere in the world in the past week. And that might well make a difference in shopper behaviour over the last week compared to the week before. And also, this is a quiet time of the year for my shop. So I'm getting less data just now anyway. If I did this change in November, thankfully, Etsy didn't do this change in November, but if I did this change in November, I have far much data that a week's worth of data would be significant. But right now, not so much. But over the past week, thankfully, Etsy has updated the ads a little bit. So now we can view it at a custom range. So we can look at a week, a day, whatever else. And we can also sort the columns if you want to see what got the most views, what got the most clicks. They still haven't added the spend for each individual listing, but fingers crossed that's coming soon. And also many people are reporting glitches with the data. Things aren't quite adding up yet. So take everything with a pinch of salt. But what have our fears been? Let's think about what our fears were and see if we can decide if they've, they've been actualized or not. Well, the first big fear that everyone's mentioning is they fear that Etsy is going to spend up to their daily budget because that's what it sounds like what Etsy saying. So the second we changed over, if someone had £10 a day budget and we're only using £1 a day, well dollar because it's all in dollars, we're only using $1 a day, then as soon as they switched over, Etsy would go, okay, we'll just spend all $10. So has that happened? And also has the cost per click gone sky high? now that Etsy's in control and not us. So let's look at the data and find out. As at the minute Etsy's not really given us great data all in one place, I've had to dig around in different areas of my shop to find this data. And as I say, it's not likely to be the best in the world. But let's see what I've got. So to find the number of visits from ads, I've gone into my stats, scrolled down to the traffic sources and clicked on the see more details, then advertising. For the cost, I go to finances and my payment account and look for marketing advertising and you'll see the daily amount you were charged. Before I flipped over to combined ads, you would get to see promoted listings. It was called promoted listings rather than advertising. Now, over the past couple of weeks, my total views have not significantly changed much, as you can see in my graph. And interestingly enough, I seem to have not been getting data or getting charged for Google ads over the past few months. I definitely had them turned on, so I don't know what's happened here or if they've been turned off by accident or if the data was already compiled into the promoted listings. Because guess who didn't take a note of all her stats before she changed over? So if we look at the visits and costs data, it seems pretty clear that over the past week, since I changed the ads on, my visits from advertising have dropped significantly. And when I calculated the cost per click, which is just simply the cost, the total cost for the day divided by the number of views. And in this case, I just multiplied it by 100 so I could see it's in cents now. It just makes it easier to see than fractions of decimals. But my cost per click does seem to have gone up since I made the change. In fact, if I average the numbers over a week, I can see my cost per click has gone from 2.2 cents per click to 5.1 cent per click. That's more than double. And my average visits have gone from nearly 18 a day to just over five a day. So they were over three times higher. But like I said, at the moment, my numbers are very low just now because it's a quiet time of the year for me. And I've perhaps been a little lazy. And let's pop over and look at the numbers that Etsy give us on the 
marketing page. Before the change, my views were 12,800 and after they're 6,200. Clicks 139 to 60. Orders are the same at 1 and 1 and the revenues 3.28 to 3.26. And that was the same thing that sold. It's just a little PDF. It's just the exchange rate changed in that time period. And my spend on ads was 9.38 before and is 2.75. And then plug in all this data into E-Rank's return on investment calculator, which I spoke about in a video last week. My before cost per click was seven cents and now is five cents. Return on investment minus 65% to 19% now. Cost per order £9.38 .9 to 2.75 click-through rate 1.09 to 1.96 and conversion 0.72 to 1.66. However, there is such little data, it's hard to read anything into this. Usually when I'm looking at my adverts, I average them over a large period of time. And last year I was averaging about 1000% return on investment. So for every pound I spent, I was making 10 pounds. And now before I changed over, for this year, it was averaging about 2,000%. So for every £1 spent, I was making about £20. So a week's kind of random, and it's a bit amusing that it's the same thing that sold. This short data is not really telling us very much. Costs and clicks seem to be down, but the cost per order is looking better because there was one sale for less clicks. It cost less to get that one sale. Again, not statistically significant really. And click-through rate is actually down, which again, not statistically significant, but if you see a variation in click-through rate, that is telling me that it's been shown to people who are less likely to click on it. So perhaps less targeted browsers. But as for our fears, it is very much not using up all of my budget. It's spending less than it was before I switched it on. So that's one fear that didn't come true yet. They did say they were going to keep using our settings for a while as they gathered data, but at least it's not gone crazy. And the cost per click has not gone crazy high. It's possibly up a small amount, but we just don't have enough data to see. But it certainly hasn't gone up to the crazy numbers that some people report of $1, $2. Someone even once said $20. So thankfully we're not at that. The data we have is not enough to panic yet. It's possibly slightly different and I will be keeping an eye on it. But for now, that's what I've got. Thank you so much for joining me and see you next time.